We are ready to go to Ormondville. So a bit of a bad start. The cable car here only took me up to La Pras. Plan Pras, it's called. Um, it doesn't go all the way up as I have planned. To Le Brevant, Brevant. So, uh, that makes for a bit of change of plans. I think I have officially started on the trip and I'm already lost. Uh, we're not exactly off to a flying start. So I took the cable car thingy up to Plan Paul, Plan Paul, Plan Press, something like that. And I'm walking in the clockwise direction. Uh, the view here is uh, just incredible. So, according to the sign I just passed, I'm now on my way to Lovelige, the lake, hopefully, which is adding a bit of distance to the route I was initially planning on taking but it's not that much so I think we're good so far I'm really glad I took this path because this is uh, the kind of terrain I like the most maybe I will check out some of the other alternate routes as well. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is nice. This is nice. Holy Okay, the weather couldn't be any better, I think. It's just perfect. Uh, according to the forecast, it's gonna rain uh, two days from now. Could change, of course, but we'll see. Just as a local guy for the direction to the lake, the blank lake, long, no, no, no. I don't speak French, so, but it's 
this way. Heading in the right direction. That's what we like. That's the way it should be. Finally made it to the lake. That was a steep climb. Uh, yeah, if you want to get some exercise, definitely take that route uh, up up here. But it was definitely not easy. But as you can see, plenty of tourists up here. Was it worth it? You tell me. There's a, it's a lake. <laughs> I guess it's a lake. It's a lake and it's bank. So, uh, yeah, got to use my jacket actually up there because uh, up at that uh, refuge it was actually quite windy so I'm glad I brought that this jacket but now it's getting warm again so I my descent from down from uh, that refuge I uh, spent a bit too much time there, I think. <laughs> I had some omelette and... Yeah. Had a break, basically. Just incredible. I mean, this is it's hard to beat that. speak French but I'm heading in the Trollechon direction downwards as I like to call it
just met some wild animals. I uh, have no idea what that was. <laughs> but they were cute. A mother and a child. On my way to Trollochamps. Still, you can't be at this view, I think. That would be hard. That's, that's nice. Looks like we're starting to get real close to Trois-le-Champ. I believe I'm going up another mountain, a pretty tall one, so <laughs> we'll find out now if me taking this detour, the alternate route, was a good idea or not. According to the sign, it was it is supposed to be about 35 minutes left before I'm in Trollejump, Trollejump, or Trollejump. I don't know. Tr Trailer Champ. Trailer Champ. Yes, currently walking through woods. I'm walking through woods. Uh, on my way to Trollejamp. I'm gonna pronounce the P because I like that. Trollejamp. Trollejamp. I was going to start from here, um, but I ended up starting from Plan Pros, Plan Pro, something like that. Um, walking somewhere here, I don't know exactly. I think I might have been going this way. Anyway, I went up to that lake? No. Col de la... No, no, no. That's not it. Col de Blanc? Blanc? That's not even on the map. Where is Col de Blanc? This one! Huh. All the way up there? Okay. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna follow the main road here uh, for just a bit and then head up towards a mountain called uh, something like Augelette Posset or something like that. Augelette de Posset. I decided not to take a break at Trollejump because that would have been a detour and I want to head on because I think this mountain here is actually pretty tall. It's like very tall. This path here is exactly the kind of path I like the most. Thank 
incredible and the weather is just perfect. Nearly at the top of Ojulet de Buzet. myself some uh, a bit more secluded place a bit less windy blowing luck <coughs> at the top not sure if I'm able to even fly the drone here but I'll give it a try It is nice. So I just passed the uh, Col de Balm, which should be on the border. So I'm now passing over to Switzerland uh, and heading down to Trio or Triant. According to my research, I think this is actually the um, border here. Could be. Or maybe maybe it's just something else. <laughs> Probably. Oh. Trekking to Triant. I'm trekking to Triant. That should also be a song. I'm on my way to Triant. I'm on my way to Triant. I'm on my way to Triant. Far away. I'm going trekking to Triant. Trekking to Triant. Let's hope. I'm getting there today. Okay, so this is Le Petit, one hour 20. Col de la Fourclos, two hours. Trion, one hour 30. So this seems to be a camping place I'm approaching. I'm not staying here, and I'm really glad I don't tonight. I need a good night's sleep. And I don't get that in a tent. That's just the way it is. 
31, 32 kilometers. It's not that much, but it's the ascent and descent. That's uh, the hard part. And it's gonna be interesting tomorrow. Uh, I think, if I remember correctly, it's not gonna be that far tomorrow. So I'll be able to recover a bit. But the next day, I'll have to start very early. Because I think that's the that's going to be the hardest day, both uh, physically and mentally, I think, because <laughs> according to the weather forecast, it's supposed to be raining and it's going to be the longest distance. Maybe a bit too long, actually. It's, uh, I'll have to start early, that's for sure. That's for sure. So, anyway, I'm in Switzerland. Never been in Switzerland before. So, I like Switzerland so far. <laughs> Seems pretty nice. I'm a bit worried about Wednesday, to be honest. can't be like this and then another 10 kilometers. That would kill me. Well, that's why I have to start very early, which I didn't today, right? Because I started like 10, almost 11, I think, before I started. That's too late. Way too late. What is this? Oh, Okay. Mm -hmm. 